we're still several weeks away from Dr. Jennifer Leiter manages infection prevention for NYU Landone Health. It sounds like we don't have all the tools we need right now. That's correct, and um, we don't want any transmission, so we have to almost default to presuming it could be COVID. Is it your sense right now that there may be a lot more coronavirus circulating than we really know? I think the CDC was under testing. They didn't have the kits available, and they had pretty strict criteria for who they were going to send testing on. And Dr. LaPoop joins us now. So I think people are sort of questioning, you know, if I may have been exposed, what do I do? What do I tell my family members? What advice do you have tonight? Well, of course, people should always check with their clinicians. But the last thing anybody wants is somebody coming into an emergency room with COVID-19 and infecting everybody else. So what you're seeing much more now is people talking about things like telemedicine, where people can be safely triaged from a distance. And then if it looks like they might have COVID-19 or active coronavirus, then bring them into the emergency room. But everybody's then prepared so that there's active protocol there to protect everybody. And also the CDC, the website, has all the information, the facts, if you need it. CDC.gov, they really keep it up to date, and it's a terrific website. Dr. LaPoo, thank you as always. Appreciate it. And there is still much more news ahead on tonight's CDSC.